Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Atlanta, Georgia, where the players play. And I was headed through Atlanta, and I saw that at the Georgia Aquarium behind me that they're actually having a Halloween event called Haunted Seas. Now, it's not going to be... Uh, not going to be like a like a like a haunt like a like a terrifying experience. They're not going to be like jumping at you while you're trying to enjoy watching uh, watching fish swim. But I thought it'd be interesting to check out uh, what they have here as far as a Halloween celebration here at the uh, Georgia Aquarium. I actually love this aquarium. One of my favorite aquariums in the country, and I do love visiting uh, aquariums. They have, uh, they do have the the, uh, the whale sharks. One of the, I think the only um, only aquarium in the United States that has those whale sharks, the largest fish in uh, in existence, and uh, just a great aquarium. Just a, just a wonderful environment to enjoy, looking at fish, relax, take in some some wildlife. So uh, let's go check out the haunted seas at the Georgia Aquarium. So please. Follow me. Now over here we have this giant penguin greeting us to the uh, Georgia Aquarium. There you see the haunted seas. Well that looks really spooky. Here's the logo of the Georgia Aquarium. It's a G, but it's also a fish. And we are welcomed here in every language and to head into a rainbow tunnel of jellyfish. Haven't even scanned my ticket yet and already enjoying sea life. Love looking at the jellyfish as they list through the ocean. I remember we were at an aquarium in Denver and uh, there was a, a place where you could pet jellyfish and me and Jen were there and we were petting a jellyfish and uh, Jen asked the lady, do the jellyfish like being petted? And the lady responded, they have no brain, so they don't care. And here we are, this is like the atrium, all the, uh, all the exhibits kind of spring forth from the atrium, and yeah, it looks like they got their Halloween decorations up. Oh, look at this. I wasn't expecting this, they have an animatronic pirate here in the atrium. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. Very, very busy here at the Georgia Aquarium. You see the crow's nest up there. And a bunch of piratey items and treasures down here. I don't know, I wonder whose uh, pirate throne that is. But let's, uh, let's see some fish. We'll head here into Tropical Diver. Yeah, I do love just watching fish. I used to be really into like having aquariums when I was younger. And I do have an aquarium now, but there's only one, only one fish left in that aquarium. So hopefully when I get fully moved back in, I can uh, get, a, get a couple more fish. Maybe even someday set up a, a larger, more substantial aquarium. See over here, it's themed like a, all these pipes. Look what's coming out of the pipes here. Oh my goodness. Two giant moray eels just hanging out of that pipe. Look at that. Oh my god. That's an amazing fish. Look at that. They're buddies. They're hanging out together in that pipe. And if you look around, these other pipes, you can see there's other moray eels poking out from these pipes. Another one over there. Man, just look at that. There's the lion. 
fish. They're one of the most beautiful fish, but also a really prob problematic invasive species. Down here, there's actually like tubes where you can stick your head up and uh, hang out here with the eels. I don't know, we can see if we can find where we gotta crawl underground to get in these uh, in these tubes. All right, here is the tunnel. We can head in to uh, get to the eels. All right, poke up in here. Try to see the eels. Hey there, eel. How are you doing there, little guy? And our eel buddy. You can see the the lionfish. See all the guests of the aquarium staring at me. <laughs> you can look oh yeah, that's a cute that's a cute little eel there. Love hanging out, uh, love hanging out with eels. We see here. There we go. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What kind of eel are you? You're not like a moray eel, are you? Oh look, there's another, I didn't even notice this eel right here. Yeah, just hanging here in a tube full of eels. We're at the Japanese sea nettle type of jellyfish there, but look at this. Look closely, there is some spookiness, some Halloween hidden here in uh, the aquarium. See those the silhouettes of bats there behind the sea nettles. You have the big tank over here. You look up and see this, the fish swimming above your heads. Oh, look at that. You actually see the waves crashing up there. There's a peacock mantis shrimp in here. Well, there he is. You can see the very tail of the mantis shrimp. He's hiding under that rock. See these fish here, also decorated for Halloween. It's that very spooky skull that they put out front. Spooky fish. See the clownfish here frolicking in their anemones. I was always fascinated by this whole arrangement when I was a kid, how the anemone was like a stinging creature, but the, the clownfish were somehow immune to the stings, so they could just hang in there, nothing else could get to them, and the safety of their wonderful anemone. Another spooky Halloween skull in here with the uh, garden eels. They call them garden eels because they like stand up like stalks, like stalks of uh, vegetables there. There's one way in the back. That one there out in front. Garden eel. Oh. Oh, you see that? That one just came up. That one just poked up right there. Where's he going? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, they just hang out like this all day. We have a scene from a shipwreck. This is a wrecked ship there. All the little tiny fish. All the tiny little careless fish. They don't care that a ship was wrecked. They don't care that people's lives were lost. Or valuable goods sank to the bottom of the ocean. They just like to, they just like to swim. We're gonna head into Ocean Voyager. Where they actually have their whale sharks. You can see a replica of the whale shark right there dangling above us. Ocean Voyager was built by Home Depot, the same people that built the 12 foot tall Home Depot skeleton. We step here into the very uh, tight and crowded shark tunnel. We're on the conveyor belt. Yeah, you can see a shark right there. You can see the sunken treasure chest over here. Oh, look at that fish. He's trying to collect some of the uh, gold coins there. Also, there's someone's skeletal arm possibly devoured by a shark, but not a whale shark because they only eat plankton. See the gravestone there? It says R.I.P. The person's name is Yul. You'll be next. Kind of like saying you'll be next, as in you'll be the next person to die, but it's spelled out as if it were someone's name. Oh, there it is. There's the whale shark. 
Halloween spookiness, the skeleton coming out of the ground. This is rest in peace. No escape. But probably what they're trying to refer to there is like no escape. Like you cannot escape. Just look at the size of that ray there. It's so big. Those are devil rays, I believe. And a lot of under water tombstones down here i must be going i must be going as in i must i must be going here lies rust in peace much like other gravestones said r.i.p which stands for rest in peace but here it's actually the person's name and their first name is rustin rick a mortis referring to rigor mortis which is the body's process of stiffening up after uh, after uh, after you die. Also, there's some lazy sharks hanging out here at the bottom. Over here, at the, the biggest aquarium where you can see the uh, whale shark. Oh, look at that! The sea turtle down there. Oh, there it comes. It's the whale shark up there. Oh, who's this? It's this shark right here. Oh, there's the devil ray. See up there the whale shark and the turtle hanging out together. Yes, they are uh, best bros. Oh, look, there's the, the devil ray. You have not yet gotten to touch Lucy. She's coming again, okay? Oh. Lucy, let's go. Lucy's coming here. Two fingers on her backs and on her side. Two fingers, two fingers, two right, fingers. Right, right. Two fingers. Why am I saying two fingers? Pet Lucy. Well, one, need to use two fingers, but two, we don't want to poke oh, the eyes or her butt. Nobody wants to poke to the butt. Oh, Nobody wow. wants to poke to the eyes. We're going to use two fingers to touch the front and back and our side. Look at this. we got some electric eels. These are different than the moray eels in that they are bustling with electricity. Hey there. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to pet one of them, you'd get uh, get a little little shock. I got some gators here. Let's go check out uh, Gator Crossing. Some more super spooky tombstones there amongst the fish. Oh, look at those gators. You can see that that green gator there. And then the white gator's got his uh, got his arm around him. They're they're best friends, despite their superficial differences. I think maybe uh, us humans could learn something from these gators. Touches my heart. See these other gators here floating, floating in their swamp. River Scout section. Here we have some vicious piranha. That's a spooky fish. So one of the only fish that's not a shark that has uh, had a horror movie named after them. Oh, here we're actually underneath the gator, uh, the gator swamp. So the gators hovering above our heads. Hey, Mr. Turtle. How are you doing? Oh, oh gotta go for the lair? 
Turtles need to breathe. There you go. Nice refreshing breath of air. Now we head into Coldwater West. We observe the tide pools here, the different starfish and other creatures down in the tide pool. And oh my goodness, there's a super spooky skeleton right there. Oh, look at that. Look at the big otter. Oh, it's going for a swim. Oh, yeah, you can see them feeding the otters. Just laying on their back, catching the food. See them swimming around there. Oh my goodness. Just hanging out there on shore, eating their lunch. <laughs> Oh, hey there. Well, the otter is definitely a highlight of the uh, Georgia Aquarium. Oh, look at that. They're having the underwater otter fight. See the penguins hanging out here while their, their uh, enclosure gets hosed down. Oh, getting those rocks clean, but it's hard to get, I guess, hard to get the penguins to get out of the way. Yeah, it looks like they don't really mind being sprayed with the hose a little bit. Here we have the beluga whales. At least they're beluga tails right there. I do a little dance. Oh, there he is. It's so beautiful. There's also a little seal down there. I'm gonna head up here to the Dolphin Coast. I got, I reserved some tickets for the Dolphin Show, which is uh, starting here in just a few moments. So we're saying the Dolphin Show actually has a Halloween overlay. Check out the dolphins in their tank here before the show. Oh yeah, there they are. You know, of all the times I've been to the Georgia Aquarium, I don't think I've ever actually seen uh, seen the dolphin show. Big spooky jack o' lantern there. I mean, Once the presentation has started, please don't creep or crawl along the aisle at the front of the pool. Who's that down there? of the deep section. They have uh, some more sharks in here. Oh yeah, look at this. Got a uh, hammerhead shark there. And then a non-hammerhead shark as well. Oh, these little fish. Better be careful swimming with these sharks. You like it, Dan? Oh yeah, look at that. Is it cute? Swimming away. <laughs> the sharks. Wait! I'm going to face all of your mama. Did they have a little bit of a face? Check out that hammer right there. Yeah, it's almost like a fish tornado there. Oh, 
Look at all this sharky teeth. There's some uh, sea lions over here. Hey there. Swimming there. Under the sea. Oh, wow. So they do have a sea lion show. It's a sea lion theater and arcade this way. I guess this is the sea lion arcade. I'll show you this out. We got a little animatronic bird in there. That's a little radio host of some sort. Right, a DJ, DJ Siegel. See this singing, dancing lobsters up there. Oh, let them go. Let them dance. Well, look at this. We have a Zoltar like fortune telling machine, but instead of Zoltar, we have Lulu the Pelican in there. I just, is Lulu gonna, gonna, gonna tell our fortune? Let's see here. What? Touch the crystal ball for three seconds. One. Two, three. What's this? What's, what's that egg? It's an egg wearing a, a sco scuba gear? Where's my fortune? Oh, oh, there we go. So we got to. What's I, don't, I don't know what's happening here. Tap the egg. Oh, I broke it. Tap it again. Tap it one more time. There's my fortune. It is the hermit. The hermit seal there. Lulu sees in your future. You will volunteer your time to clean beaches and riverways. Sounds like a, a great idea. I just, you know what, Lulu? I may just do that. And I may volunteer my my time to, uh, to clear a few beaches. here go along with their haunted seas theme the uh, treasure chest here it looks like you can buy a little bit of uh, well, that's a pirate's map in there and uh, in the chest there okay we've got a uh, a whale shark wearing a uh, wearing a pirate's hat you'll find that very interesting whale shark shot glass there Got a whole whale shark sticking out of it. So thank you for joining me here today at the Georgia Aquarium to see some 
sea life, some nice relaxing sea life with some light, light spookiness sprinkled within. Uh, appreciate you guys coming along with me today. If uh, you do like these videos, please uh, subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more, which a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling uh, enamel pins in the Etsy shop. And uh, so doing cameos, personalized messages for birthdays, anniversaries, or just for fun. If you're interested in any of that, check the description of this video. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this shark in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.